it's not. <laughs> yeah, okay. So learning and remembering foreign vocabulary can be tough once you move from the beginner level into the FE. Now, um, without students having a comprehensive way of maintaining an active set of vocabulary, achieving the top grades in the writing exams and oral exams especially can be a real struggle, especially when it comes to the stressful period at the end of the year and success is of obviously utmost importance. Now, sometimes students don't even know what they actually know and how well they know it, making it almost impossible for them to actually assess whether they are prepared for the exams and whether they can actually move on. <laughs> yeah, this leads to the problem of um, basically wasted teaching time as teachers do not focus on the stuff they should be focusing on, um, frustration with the students and, I mean, and lower student satisfaction, obviously. So, introducing Lingoflow. Lingoflow <laughs> yeah. is a dynamic platform for vocabulary learning and referencing. Uh, aimed at intermediate and advanced students at FE. The style of the languages allowing um, teachers at institutions to actually manage all their vocabulary lists in one place, whilst preserving all the linguistic qualities. Yep. So we think that uh, statistics, especially detailed statistics and the visual representation of uh, of what students actually know, is very important. That's why we show them what exactly they know and in a way that they will actually understand. Obviously, the teachers will get a complete overview of their students, enabling focused revision exactly where it's actually needed. And uh, of course, our main kind of idea here is that learning in context is a big plus. Flows are quick examples of uh, usage created by students and uh, teachers themselves. Uh, create a vibrant ecosystem of, uh, of material that uh, connects the theoretical knowledge of vocabulary with the actual reality. So there are 369 roughly FE colleges in the UK, each teaching about 100 to 200 language students. Therefore, we believe there's a lot of potential for our product. Yeah. That's your two minutes. Sure. Okay, <laughs> off you go. Just, uh, just finish off, yeah. Click it on. So we just wanted to mention our next steps, basically. So in the pilot, um, we are running a pilot with a select number of FE colleges um, in London and the southeast of England, yeah. um, with the aim of innovating, wait, validating, innovating, and consolidating our product over the next academic year. And of course, we would like to thank JISC and, uh, and all the support from JISC, uh, as it is well, at the heart of our project. So we basically believe that with all this help, we can make Lingoflow a successful. Uh, sustainable platform for MFL uh, sector in FE and uh, make the whole experience smoother and more successful for the students and teachers alike. Thank you. Um, just a quick question about um, how it's used. So if I go on there and I make a list of vocabulary mm -hmm. um, in one college, is that accessible to someone in another college? No, uh, that's up to them. They can choose whether to share it publicly or with classes. Yeah. Yeah. What platform is the split operating on? Uh, the the front end would be a web app currently with the with the prospect to obviously make the mobile, mobile apps to make it you know portable on the go because this is a very important issue when it comes to reviewing your vocabulary at you know in any spare time that you possibly have and uh, you know currently so it's web app and uh, it's, yeah, mobile it's, apps it's using company. all the latest technologies to make it as streamlined and uh, smooth experience as we can possibly make it at the time. Any other questions? Can you just give us a rundown of those technologies in a nutshell? Because I know you guys are using yeah. the cutting edge stuff. <laughs> sure. So, can you explain the front end? Well, I use Angular JS, uh, including jQuery, to actually make the web app, mm -hmm. which links to the API made by Lucas. Yes. So, I basically work on the back end of the system uh, to create a universal API, which will later be used by the mobile apps on Android and iOS, potentially other platforms as well. So, this uh, API is using Node.js as the main framework as well as a combination of open source other modules which uh, which obviously help it to do what it needs to do so that's kind of a brief overview of what we use okay <laughs> Any questions? Yep. Yep. Um, do you know what is program roughly the public features version of something that people can use 
when it's going to be out. Yeah. Well, the MVP is yeah. actually scheduled to be done in a couple of weeks, beginning mm. 8th of September for the pilot. Um, of course, you have many features planned down the line, which mm. is what we'll be doing, acting on the yeah. feedback to make it what it actually should be and meet the needs of the actual colleges. Mm. Individuals will be able to use it too, download mm -hmm. <laughs>